23 contact lenses in your eye. Can that really happen? If you want to find out, keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, and eye makeup health. And today I am addressing that video that went viral actually by a friend, another female ophthalmologist in California. Let's take a look. And you can see, can you lift it up a little bit? There's a, there's a third contact. Look down some more. We just removed two and a half contacts. You can see there's a piece. Coming out, there's more. And this is how many? I don't know. There's actually a lot. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yes, this can 100% happen. And it's actually not the first time. Back in 2017, a woman in her late 60s had 27 contact lenses found underneath her upper lid when she was going for cataract surgery. She didn't even know it. The cataract surgeon put in the speculum, which is the instrument which opens the eyelids, and then he found them. So this is not the most number. How can this happen? I don't know, there's actually a lot. Oh, God. There's a whole waddle there. I believe it. A wad. You are my Guinness Book of Recommendations. Oh, God. We're, We're delivering. delivering. Not quite, but close. This is the jar. You can say that again. Mm -hmm. I don't have to count them. I think I already counted more than 10 or 12. Oh, oh come on. on. No, I'm serious. She didn't even know what when it was just the number was 10 or 12, you hear the patient say, oh, come on. She didn't know that she had that many contact lenses. It ended up being 23 contacts. How can this happen? Well, the first thing is because when you are inserting and removing a contact lens, your cornea actually does get a little bit desensitized. So she likely just didn't even feel the contact lenses and they weren't on the front surface of the eye. They were in what's called the sulcus. As we age, your sulcus gets a little bit more hollowed out, a little more prominent, and that's where contact lenses can go and hide, especially if you've ever had a stuck contact lens. Make sure to check out my video right there. You can figure out how to get a stuck contact lens out. Your sulcus is the reason that a contact lens actually doesn't travel all the way back to your brain or to another part of your body because it traps it right there. But that's what it did. It basically acted like a little pocket and it caught all of these contact lenses that this woman was putting in her eyes and not realizing that she wasn't removing. And now it seems like this was done over the course of maybe even a year because it had been a while since she'd been into the eye doctors because of the pandemic. So likely what happened is she put them in couldn't remember if she had taken them off or not. They might have traveled, she might have thought she got it, pulled it out, she thought she was pulling it out when in fact it had traveled up into the sulcus. And usually all it feels like is some dry eyes or maybe like a little hair in your eye. And sometimes if you wear contact lenses, you are used to feeling like there's something in your eye anyway. So that's actually not that uncommon. You are my Guinness Book of Recommendations. Oh God, we're delivering. All right, why are the contact lenses green? That's not how they look when you put them in. Well, what we do is we use a stain called fluorescein. It's a vegetable dye and it actually helps highlight objects so that we can find them more easily when they're in the eye. And it's also really good for seeing dry eyes, little scratches on the surface of the eye, like corneal abrasion. So Dr. Korteva put this fluorescein in the eye so she could better visualize the contact lenses and make sure she gotten all of them out. That is only just for the diagnostic and examination purpose. The contact lenses have a tiny blue tinge. That's what most contacts do. They have a little bit of a blue tinge because they've got a UV coating on them to help protect your eyes against ultraviolet light. So why is this a problem? Who cares if she's got 23 contact lenses other than being kind of unusual? Well, it puts you at risk for infections, scratching the surface of the eye. The lens could have migrated down at any point and it's truly like a pancake. It's a stack of lenses. How does that happen? Well, soft contact lenses are made of materials now that are so thin and they are so soft and flexible, which is why they transmit oxygen really well to the front surface of your eye and they feel really good on the surface of your eye. But 
you can stack them and I'm showing you just with a few contact lenses right here on my finger you can stack them and it doesn't really increase the thickness all that much so that's how she just didn't even know it. So what do you do if you feel like you have just one contact lens stuck underneath your eyelid? First, you can manually elevate your eyelid. You can use an artificial teardrop and then try to just massage the eye down. That usually will get the contact lens to come down. Sometimes you might actually have to elevate and touch and move it down. And I've got it all in the video for how to get a stuck contact lens out so you don't end up with 23 contacts or 27 like the other lady in your eye. And then how do you prevent this from happening? Basically create a routine. That's the most important. When you insert your contact lens in the morning, when you remove your contact lens at night, even the ones that you can theoretically sleep in, it's always better to remove them at night just because they don't let a lot of oxygen into the surface of your eye. So some people will do it at the exact same time every day when they're brushing their teeth. Some people will switch out of their contact lenses as soon as they come home and put their glasses on just to give their eyes a break. But whatever your routine, just establish a routine so you don't end up with this many lenses in your eye. All right, guys, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Yes, this is an actual video of a patient and this can happen. It's not that uncommon. I have gotten a few contact lenses out, though not 23 or more than that. Hopefully you don't end up in your eye doctor's office with this occurring if you create some good routines and some good habits. And then remember, if your eye is red, you can see this lady's eye is red when the eyelid is picked up. If your eye is red, if your eye feels uncomfortable and you're a contact lens wear, please see your eye doctor. You're just more prone to corneal infections because of being a contact lens wear because you are constantly handling your eye and you're creating little micro traumas on the cornea. So you're just more at risk. So don't mess around. If your eye is red, just go in to see us. All right. So make sure to hit like and subscribe so you can get these videos right in to your inbox as soon as I make them. If you have any ideas or you want me to post on a particular topic, drop them in the comment below. I'm happy to do so. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye-bye.